Well, good day, First Family. It's time, once again, to get you a cup of something hot and yummy and talk some go and tell. And while you're doing that, time to like, subscribe to our YouTube channel. By the way, at the time of this recording, uh, we're hovering in the vicinity of 74. I know that's like low numbers for like the, the big dogs, but I'd love to just bump that up to a nice, even 100 uh, so if you're if you're watching without subscribing, we're glad you're here, but would appreciate that follow and subscribe to our page. And please join the conversation, comment, and share this video with others that you think may enjoy it. So this is a second video in a series that I've started called "Is Every Christian a Missionary?" And I sort of teased it a while back on Instagram. I did an introduction video a few weeks ago. And um, believe it or not, you have been asking me for this second video ever since I posted that introduction video. I appreciate you watching and, and engaging with this content. Um, it kind of helps me be motivated to continue to do so. And it's just been um, a lot going on. And hard for me to sit down somewhere and focus and do this next video. Um, but here I am. So you should have your tea, your coffee, whatever you got with you now. And we're going to dive into this. And so we're going to be defining terms today in this video. In fact, so important. I've got my mechanical pencil in my hand. I don't know why I still have it in my hand, but I'm waving it around like a crazy person. Uh, as we get ready for this, but that's just let you know it's getting serious. So why are we defining terms? Simply this, words matter. Uh, we use words all the time, and they have specific meanings to them. And if we're not careful about how we define those terms that we're using, we can use the same words and mean completely different things. And so when it comes to go and tell, when it comes to this idea of mission, missions, missionary, we need to define some terms so that we understand biblically what these terms means. The modern definition it does not matter, okay? We are people of the book. And so we go to the book to get a sense of what these words mean, and we carry that biblical sense over into our modern context, and we stay true to what the Bible says about these words. So what two words are we going to define in this video? Well, there are two key words that the Bible does give us clear definitions for, and that is uh, the words in English, evangelism and missions. All right. So before we can have further discussion on the question, is every Christian a missionary? Let's get these two definitions grounded, and we'll go from there. Fair enough? Okay, let's start with the word evangelism. This is an English word that uh, back in the day was not translated uh, from the original Greek into the English. It was transliterated, meaning they just sort of took the Greek letters, assigned the corresponding English letter, uh, and that was because for all the best that they could do back uh, there in the early 1600s and things like that when you're dealing with these manuscripts. Uh, there just there wasn't enough adequate evidence and manuscript at that time to make a good translation. Uh, we did the same thing with the word baptism, also a transliteration from the Greek rather than an actual translation. And as such, the word evangelism has stuck around. Nothing wrong with it. It's a word that we use, but it's a word that has a very specific meaning. And uh, it comes from the Greek. And let me just kind of, uh, I'm going to give a, a, one example each of these words, just so you know, this is not like a deep scholarly dive. You could totally do that, but for the sake of this video, I'm just wanting to go ahead and get these, these terms defined so that we can move on. If you'd like more deep dive on this, reach out to me and let me know. We can definitely do that. Uh, but let's take a look at the word of uh, evangelism. So I'm going to show you something on the screen here. There in the Greek. Pop that up there. 
Um, here we see the phrase, he preached the gospel, talking about Jesus. And then we see out to that, uh, we see at the top the, the actual Greek phrase, uh, Greek word there. And in the middle, we see the root there. And that root is uh, euangelizo. All right, that's what it looks like in Greek. That's kind of how you transliterate that uh, into English. And so that word euangelizo has come over time in this, the translation to be what we call evangelism. So what does euangelizo mean? It simply means good news. That's all it means. And so this is something that we see even the idea of it, even going back into Old Testament times um, and definitely into the first century. And think of, think of a, a herald who is coming from the battlefield after a victory or, or think of uh, someone that is, is coming uh, to deliver uh, some amazing bit of information uh, concerning the vote of a new emperor or concerning um, laws that are being passed or anything like that, okay? Uh, the king and the queen, of, they've, they've had a, uh, a son, right? Think of, think of the good news that gets the public attention back in, in ancient times. And so that herald would go out into uh, the populated areas, the, the cities, and he would announce this good news. He would announce euangelizo, okay, good news. So when we see this phrase good news in Scripture, when we see the word gospel in Scripture, uh, that means good news. It, it, they both come from this Greek word euangelizo, all right? Gospel, evangelism come from the same Greek. Uh, this is something that's a bit more common knowledge in churches today, I think. Um, but if this is the first time you've heard it, I'm, I'm glad you've tuned into this so you can know where we get this, this word from. Because uh, evangelism can seem awfully churchy because uh, that's kind of where that, that term lives. But it simply means good news. And we're talking about uh, the gospel, we're talking about the, the verb evangelism. In the church context, we are, of course, talking about the good news of Christ's completed work of redemption uh, there on the cross and through his resurrection. So what about the term missions? This one's a little bit more tricky, okay? It's not quite as uh, cut and dry um, because it has gone through more translations in different languages than the word evangelism. Evangelism comes very quickly out of the Greek into English because of transliteration, but missions is actually translation, first out of the Greek, then into Latin, and then into English. So let me show you how that progression is. I've got another screen I'm going to throw up here. There we go. And you see here about Jesus. He is sending out his disciples. And you see over here the phrase sent out. This is the verb to send out in the Greek. And you see over here uh, beside it the Greek word apostello. Now, apostello is a verb. It can also serve as a noun. There's a noun form of apostello in Greek. And so it can be to send out or it can be the, the ones who are sent out. It can refer to the action or the one actually doing it. Um, in this case, it's the verb form, apostello. That word probably sounds awfully familiar to you uh, if you've been in church circles because it sounds like the word apostle. Uh, again, this is a transliteration, but apostle is not where we get our word mission. Um, so in the Greek, apostello, transliterate to apostle, still has the same meaning. But when we talk about mission, that translation takes a different path, okay? Uh, rather than transliterating it into apostolo and doing something with that, the word is actually translated from the Greek apostello into Latin as these texts are copied. And that Latin word is missio. So the translation of the Greek word apostello into Latin is missio. They mean the same thing. 
It's it's the it's a it's a verb to be sent out. Okay, and again, it's the same kind of idea as like a herald, but also it has kind of the connotation of a soldier being sent out on their orders to carry out uh, battle plans, to carry out, um, again, a mission, all right? You can kind of see where this is going. So when you take the Latin missio and you then take that and trans transliterate it into English or bring it over, it becomes the word mission, okay? So that's where the word mission comes from. Some people say the word mission is not in the Bible. When we talk about missions, missionary, those are not biblical terms. Uh, people that make that argument are greatly mistaken because we're not talking from the English standpoint. We're talking about the standpoint of the original language that we see in the New Testament, which is Greek. And so as we take the word uh, apostolos into its translation of Latin, Latin into English, we see the continuation of the meaning of that word from sent out ones uh, to be sent out in Greek, to be sent out in Latin, and in English, that word should properly be tr defined as those being who are, who are sent out or to be sent out. And this is where the rub comes um, in our modern church today because we have left the definition of missions in the past. We've not carried the definition over. We brought the word over. We didn't bring the definition. And we redefined it to mean something else. And so we're going to kind of go on a journey here in some of the next videos as to where, what path did we go down on this? And how did we get from missions being about being sent out and being a sent out one from the church to the modern understanding of missions that has become so prevalent today. So that's going to be where we start with our next video. So I hope this defining of terms has been helpful. I hope it sets up our continued discussion on this and helps you to see that we're going to keep this in the parameters of a biblical definition for both evangelism as well as for mission, okay? And so where we end up on this journey is going to be determined by where we start. And we are starting both feet firmly planted on the Word of God. We're not going to budge from that. So uh, you, may, you may have other ideas about how these things to be defined, but for our conversation is going to be shaped and checked and rechecked by its faithfulness to the very Word of God. So there you have it. Evangelism, good news, missions being sent out. So until we sit down again, I pray that you have a blessed day as a sent out one as you seek to make disciples as you go and tell.